Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Mackerly, and today I want to talk about competition and self-doubt. And these are two things that can really derail your musical journey at any point in your career. Before we get into that, if you like this background track I'm playing over during this video, you can download it for free over at JM Guitar Lessons. And while you're there, please check out my cool master classes, courses, and jam tracks that are available. Also, if you like my channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. I've had a lot of really fantastic musical experiences in my life. And I would say the highlight of my career so far has been uh, doing a record with Robin Ford and performing with him in a number of tours as the other guitar player in his band. And I wasn't just the rhythm guitar player, he was so generous since we did the record together to split the solos 50-50 with me. So it was, uh, as you can imagine, a situation that was really uh, nerve-wracking for me. So I remember after one gig where I was really full of this self-doubt that I'm going to talk about and competition, that I really didn't step forward in playing. I was, it wasn't one of my finest performances. And afterwards, he said to me, listen, you're not on the gig because you're my friend. You're here because you're a badass. I can't thank him enough for saying that because it really shook me out of that moment and really helped me get out of my head because I'm on stage playing with one of the finest guitar players ever. And all I could think about is how much better he is than me. And everybody must think that I stink and some sort of that imposter syndrome that we all get. And basically, he asked me to be in his band, so he didn't feel that way about me. So my point of all this is comparing yourself to other musicians can be very positive in a healthy, competitive way. So I can look at someone's guitar playing and see something that I really like, and I want to get that kind of thing into my playing as well. I've learned to be very happy for them, and I look at it hopefully more so now than ever as a really positive experience. If I hear an amazing guitar player, when I was younger, I might have gotten angry and jealous in this, and it, that does no good. Now I revel in it. I love hearing someone who is great at what they do. I can see the beauty in it, and it gives me joy, and I want to go home and practice more, and I want to work more on me being me. And uh, am I always that way? No, no, that's my point. I still fight it because sometimes you hear somebody play something and you can't do that and you, it, it can irk you, right? So you have to learn to overcome that and realize that you are your own person. Now, one of the many amazing things that Oscar Wilde said is a quote that I try to remember. It's, There is only one thing in the world worse than being talked about, and that is not being talked about. <laughs> I wrote it down so I wouldn't get it wrong. Be yourself. Everyone else is taken. So the best you you can be is you. And the best Jeff Beck Jeff can be is Jeff Beck. And I can never be the best Jeff Beck because there, it's, there already is one. He is the best. So you are the best you you can possibly be as an individual making a statement on your instrument. Of course, you need to practice and you get better and better. But I think you understand my point is that you trying to sound like someone else or comparing yourself to someone else is a fool's game after a certain point. Now, as a musician who studied a lot of guitar players, I think you need to study other guitar players. I got really, say, for example, into Jeff Beck. Maybe too much. Where I remember at a gig someone said to me, man, you sound great. You sound exactly like Jeff Beck. And I thought to myself, well, nobody sounds like Jeff Beck. I sound like a guy who's trying to sound like Jeff Beck and not really doing anything nearly as original and cool as the man himself. So that was like a moment where I thought, oh, man, that's... That's not at all where I want to be. I want someone to say, man, you don't sound like anyone else. To me, that is the finest compliment. And the only way you can get to that point is you have to go into other people's playing, for sure. Like, I love Eric Johnson. We all love Eric Johnson. I studied his playing quite a bit, and I got into it, and then I said, okay, I'm getting a little too Eric Johnson-y. I want to kind of cut that out of my playing a little bit. Now, there's being influenced by other players. I'm influenced by Brian May and... Jeff Beck and Robin Ford and uh, Eric Clapton, all these guys who I can kind of draw upon, but my own playing hopefully does not sound like any of them, but you can hear some of those influences in my playing. So the other Oscar Wilde quote that is never really finished, and I'm going to read it, is, 
Your Majesty is like a big jam donut with cream on the top. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery that mediocrity can pay to greatness. So it's the second half of that quote that people leave out all the time, which is really important. You only got to be a mediocre copy of someone else because that person already exists. So try to be your own self. Be true to the music that you're making. Be true to who you are as a person. And you will be much happier. Of course, this isn't an easy thing to do, but the more cognizant that I am doing it, I try to change that in my mind and switch it around into something that's a positive experience. The guitar is difficult enough. You don't need to add in this other stuff of that you're not as good as Eddie Van Halen. Yeah, well, nobody's as good as Eddie Van Halen at being Eddie Van Halen. But you can be the best you you can possibly be, and I'm continuously trying to improve me and discover my own voice. That's the fun of the instrument. So how do I not let this get in the way? Well, like I said, I, I worked on it. Just as I work on my guitar playing, I had to change my mindset. I had to, through practicing, I became better and that gave me more confidence to try to develop my own sound and my own voice. If I just sat there and studied Steve Ray Vaughan licks my whole life and never said, okay, I've kind of dug into this, now it's time for me to expand and see what else I can hear. For instance, a friend of mine brought up a really cool point. We were talking about this one before I made this video, my friend Chris Amalar. And he said when he was at the point where he was copying other people, there was a cool moment that happened to him on a gig where he was listening to that person that he would copy and he goes, oh, you know, I would have done that differently. So the idea of like you would hear Steve Ray Vaughan play something and then you, in your mind, you're like, oh, I would have gone here with that. I would have made a left turn as opposed to that right turn. That's where you start to kind of develop your own sound. Throughout history, everybody else copied other people to inform your playing, to learn the instrument, to get the vocabulary together. And then all the greats broke off into their own thing. All the greats did not want to sound like anyone else either, did they? Eddie Van Halen didn't sound like anyone else. Jimi Hendrix didn't sound like anyone else. Eric Clapton doesn't sound like anyone else. See what I'm saying? So Steve Vai doesn't sound like anyone else. All these people we love, you can hear some influences in their playing, but they don't sound exactly like anyone else because they aren't. Will all of us be another Jeff Beck or Eric Clapton or, you know, Steve Vai? No, of course not. There is a certain magical quality that musicians have that some do and some don't. That's true. And in my previous video, I talked about hard work can overcome a lot of talent or make up for a little bit of less talent if you work really hard. I think I fall into that category. I've just worked really, really hard over the years, looked for my strengths, tried to play those strengths up, and really had a hard kind of talk with myself when I listen back to my playing and go, what's good and what's bad about that? Okay, I hope this video helped you out. Once again, if you like the channel, please hit like and subscribe and go over to Jam Guitar Lessons. And until the next one, I will see you later. Yeah.